I was born on October 30, 1735, in Braintree, Massachusetts. My name is John Adams, and I have a story that is intertwined with the birth of a nation and the pursuit of independence. Growing up, I had a strong passion for education. I attended Harvard College and immersed myself in the study of law. It was during this time that my fervent beliefs in liberty and justice began to take shape. In the years leading up to the American Revolution, I became actively involved in the resistance against British oppression. I defended those accused of defying British rule and argued passionately for the rights of the colonists. My dedication to the cause of independence grew stronger with each passing day. In 1774, I attended the First Continental Congress in Philadelphia, where I played a pivotal role in advocating for colonial rights and unity. The following year, I was part of the drafting committee for the Declaration of Independence, working alongside remarkable individuals like Thomas Jefferson and Benjamin Franklin. The signing of the Declaration of Independence in 1776 marked a turning point in our nation's history. We declared our independence from British rule, and I was filled with a profound sense of responsibility and commitment to the cause. During the Revolutionary War, I served as a diplomat in Europe, securing critical support from nations like France. I negotiated treaties, sought foreign aid, and tirelessly worked to establish diplomatic ties for our fledgling nation. In 1789, I had the distinct honor of becoming the first Vice President of the United States, serving under President George Washington. During my Vice Presidency, I presided over the Senate and played an active role in shaping the young nation's policies. In 1797, I became the second President of the United States. My presidency was marked by challenges and successes. I navigated through tense relations with France, successfully avoiding a full-blown war while safeguarding our national sovereignty. I advocated for a strong central government, the promotion of industry and commerce, and the preservation of the nation's honor in the face of external threats. Despite facing political opposition and criticism, I remained steadfast in my principles and pursued the best interests of the American people. 